Hey guys, what's up? Kelechi Oka here and welcome to my channel. This is the Infinix S5. The 53K phone with 4 cameras and 4 LED lights. Unboxing and review coming up next. Infinix added a free screen replacement for the next 100 days if you suffer from broken skin trauma. In the box you have the phone, the Infinix S5 with the quick spec, 6.6 .6 infinity o display, 4 AI cameras, 32 megapixel selfie and a 3 day battery life. Customer service card, a screen protector film, x club pamphlet, user manual and the Infinix K Plus card, a transparent silicone case, a micro USB charging cable, 10 watt charger and the earphone. Smartphones are certainly fun to use. The budget segment has been the most exciting part this year. The Infinix S5 is the recent offering in the budget segment, boosting a hole punch display, four cameras and a pleasant look. This one sets a new standard for Infinix smartphones with a whole new features, improved design and a big step up from its predecessor. The S4 is good but here's the new S5 with a complete difference and feel. Without doubt, the Infinix S5 has a design that is going to make you take a second look. This time, Infinix actually went beyond the normal towards making this phone to fit into the current trend of smartphones with classic design. The phone is entirely made out of plastic with a premium finish. On the right side is the power button and the volume rocker keys. On the left side is the SIM card tray for dual nano SIMs and the micro SD card expansion slot. And at the bottom is the speaker grill micro USB charging port, a noise counseling mic and a 3.5mm earphone jack. For the display, it has a 6.6 .6 inch hole punch IPS LCD display and of course, it's an HD plus resolution of 720x1600, a screen density of 266 pixels per inch density. There is still a noticeable amount of bezels below the display. 20 is to 9 aspect ratio. The viewing angles are not disappointing, having good saturation and bright colors. 90 is to 5% screen to body ratio that gives you an interrupted edge to edge access to the display. The punch hole design enhances the screen viewing experience, having a 32 megapixel selfie shooter inside. At the back is the glossy finish that houses the quad camera combination of 16 megapixel plus 5 megapixel plus 2 megapixel and another 2 megapixel. Feels like the Oppo A9, a 4 LED flashlight, the fingerprint scanner, and the Infinix branding. If you recall in the Oppo A9 unboxing and review on this channel, it feels like it has almost the same resemblance with the new Infinix S5. Quad camera setup available on both phones. Probably I should compare both phones in the nearest future. For the performance, it packs an entry level processor, MediaTek Helio P22 SoC that is clocked at 2.0 GHz. It's rather not disappointing, and of course, it does a decent job powering the HD Plus display but not as powerful as the Snapdragon 665 or Helio P70 found in other phones at this price point. For the graphics, you have the PowerVR GE8320 and 4GB RAM for your gaming experience, a 64GB storage capacity. So it doesn't end there. Expand up to 256GB so you have all the movies in the world because with the Infinix X5, you have the cinema in your hands. Best movie watching experience device. Android 9.0 OS with the SOS Cheetah skin at the version of 5.5.2, unlike some heavily customized OS. The quick settings and notifications are on the top. However, there are tons of customizations and UI additions of which I feel a little unnecessary. For example, in addition to the Play Store, there is Spam Store and AHA Games, both of which offer curated apps and games, and neither of which can be uninstalled. These apps spam you with annoying notifications and Bluetooth which cannot be disabled. Hopefully in the coming future, Infinix will opt for a change or a setting for disablement. A 4000 mAh battery is what powers this store phone that weighs 178 grams. It can manage a full day at typical usage, but charging isn't so quick. It takes little over 3 hours to fully charge from 0 to 100%. Fast charging would have really helped here, but it doesn't defy the phone. Coming to the camera side, the performance for me is good, but not really there. A 16 megapixel main camera with a 5 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. 
For the other 2 megapixel extra lens, it's less effective, although it is mentioned to be a low light sensor. I'm not sure how much impact this sensor has, since blocking it with my finger made no difference to the final output. The main camera took a while to lock focus at time. High dynamic range processing wasn't the best, but close-up shots are a bit better with decent edge sharpness and colors. At night, the primary camera captured a decent bright image thanks to the quality flashlight and the wide aperture. So this is what it looks like shooting a video from the quad camera available on the Infinix S5. What do you think of the image quality? It shoots at 1080p and at 30 frames per second. The 32 megapixel selfie camera captured fairly detailed images. For me, it wasn't so good, but it's not a letdown. It's perfect so well in outdoor photo shooting. However, to help someone in making a purchase decision, the rest of its features and capabilities don't really add up to a very good experience, but it can drive your daily activities with decent multitasking and also give you the best viewing experience. The battery is good and at 53k, it's not money wasted. So there you have it guys, everything you need to know about this new Infinix S5, the price and the worth. Please do like and share this video to a friend to help make a purchase decision and please consider subscribing to my channel. It will be massively appreciated always. And thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Kelechi Yoka, signing out.